All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, Virgin Z has officially dropped on Global, and as part of the celebrations, they released a new type of Dragonstone, which they just called Special Dragonstone. Kinda lame, in my opinion. We're gonna be calling it the Green Dragonstone, and with this stone, you're able to purchase one of six different summonable LRs in the Baba Shop, namely the AGL LR Killing Khalifla, the Tech LR Super Saiyan Broly, the uh, Int LR Super Saiyan God Goku, the AGL LR Spear Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku, the Int LR Rose, and finally the uh, STR Ultra Instinct Goku. So in today's video, we're gonna have a quick discussion about each of these units and I'll give you guys my opinion about which one is the most worthy of your green dragon stone. Now, before we get into that, let's take a look at the pack in the stone shop that the green stone comes from. And it's this one right here, once only premium Dokkan welcome pack. It costs $34.99 or basically $35 Canadian. For my US viewers, it's probably gonna be around 25 to 30 and obviously depending on where you live in the world and your currency it could be more or less right but i feel like 35 dollars is actually very reasonable because for that money you're getting number one a hundred dragon stones which is actually cheaper than the 91 stone pack we normally have for stone sales right so a hundred dragon stones the green dragon stone a diamond hercule statue which is about 5 million zenny, and then some awakening medals, and some turtle shells, and finally 5 medium aged meats. So the other stuff is not really that exciting, it's just like random throw-ins, but the 100 stones and the green stone I feel like make this pack really worth the money. So if you guys are pay to play, if you are okay with spending money on this game, then this pack is actually great value, especially if you don't have all of the six LRs from the Greenstone selection, right? And obviously, when it comes to value, you can't really beat this uh, regular welcome pack. I mean, 50 stones plus some other random stuff for 549 is just an incredible deal. So my recommendation, honestly, for any pay to play players out there is to pick up both packs for sure and uh, make sure to do it soon because you only have 100 hours. So once the countdown runs out, then the packs will be gone. So these two are definitely both worth it to me. In fact, before we move on, let me just uh, buy these right now. All right, so there we go. I got both of the uh, welcome packs and we got 150 stones. I think the green stone should be in our gift box here, except, all right, so there is the special dragon stone. So let's uh, pop back to the Baba shop now and talk about these LRs. So once again, there are six LRs in total. They're all summonable units and they're all actually quite good. Like none of these I feel like are actually bad options. So if you're only missing one or two of them, then just go for the one that you want the most or would be the most useful for you. But in a vacuum, let's say you're missing all of them or you just want the best one out of the selection. Uh, no question to me, LR Ultra Instinct Goku. He is easily the best one out of these six. And once again, they're all good, but this guy in terms of offensive potential, in terms of defensive potential, just overall as a package is the best option from the green Dragonstone selection. If you don't have him at all, like not even a single copy, then I wouldn't even think about it. You know, like just pick him up immediately. I promise you, you will not regret that decision because he is still extremely powerful on basically every event in the game and he'll probably stay that way for a long time to come like he's gonna age very very well so yeah ui goku number one no question but let's say you already have him or you don't want him and you want somebody else then to me a close number two would be agl Killing Khalifla. These girls are still impressive both offensively and defensively, especially if you're facing 
uh, Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans. So for like the Legendary Goku event and the Legendary Vegeta event, they're extremely, extremely useful. Even for Super Battle Road, they still hold up quite well. So if you need another unit for, you know, Peppy Gals or Universe 6, uh, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, and so on and so forth, join forces, then uh, this one is definitely a great option as well. So Kaelin Khalifla is number two for me. And then for number three, um, it's fairly close in my mind between Rosé and the Super Saiyan Goku, the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, but I'm gonna have to give the edge to Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku as the number three option because he hits really hard, he gets some decent defense, but overall he's just a great fill-in for a lot of teams in this game. As you can see, he has a bunch of categories, so you know, if you just need a good all-around unit, then this is your guy. I mean, of course, he is best on a mostly or full Super Saiyans team, but outside of that, you can still do very well on Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Movie Heroes, and so on and so forth. So yeah, number three for me is the AGL Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Now, as I said, the Rose and the Goku are pretty close in my mind, and I really wouldn't blame anybody if they wanted to put Rose over Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, because Rose is still a monster. This guy can hit stupidly, stupidly hard, even harder than the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. The reason he's number four for me is because I feel like he's a little bit more dependent on having the right linking partner or at least one or two orb changers with him because this guy is really dependent on getting a lot of key and he's not really able to do that for himself. He doesn't change orbs, he doesn't get extra key with the uh, same type key spheres or anything like that. And if you're not consistently getting the 18 key super, then he's not going to be hitting as hard as you would like him to. And then there's also the defense, which is okay. He does get some okay defense after he supers, but it's still not amazing. He still takes a lot of damage on Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, and the Legendary Goku slash Vegeta events. So he's not really a unit that I like to bring on those runs if I have a choice. So uh, yeah, Rose is still extremely powerful. He's still one of the hardest hitting units in the game, but he also has few cons that have made him age not as well, you know, so that's why he's number four in my list of uh, priorities with the green stone. And for the last two, for number five, I'm gonna have to go with between Broly and Godku, uh, Broly hits harder, but his defense is definitely not nearly as good as you would like it to be. So I'm gonna have to give it to the uh, Goku or the Super Saiyan God Goku. Now this guy, he doesn't hit super hard, and his defense isn't amazing, but he's very good in both of those areas. You know, he hits hard enough, and defensively, he has a high chance to dodge for the first seven turns. Is it seven turns? Hold on. Uh, yeah, high chance to dodge, and he also has a high chance to crit. And um, one other thing about this unit is the leader skill. He has one of the most versatile leader skills in the entire game, pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans. K plus four, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Those are two of the literally biggest categories in the entire game. So with Super Saiyan God Goku, you can run, I wanna say like 50% of the units in the game on his team under his leader skill. So, I mean, that might be an exaggeration, but the point is, his leader skill will allow you to build a lot of different teams and that of course is crucial to have if you are a newer player without a lot of good leads, right? So um, yeah, for the leader skill and also the just solid all around performance, I would put the Super Saiyan God Goku as number 5 and then the Tech Broly as number 6. Now once again, that is not to say that Tech Broly is bad by any means. He can still hit very, very hard. His defense could be better though, and his leader skill is just okay. So that's why I would have him as the last choice from this selection. If you guys 
are missing any of the other LRs here, I would tell you to pick those up before you go for Broly. But if Broly is the only one you're missing and you have at least one copy of everyone else, then he's also not a bad pickup, especially if you have the STR LR Broly, because this guy is definitely the best linking partner for the STR LR Broly. So there you go, guys. That is my ranking. That is how I feel like you guys should prioritize your uh, Green Dragonstone. So from best to worst, to me, uh, STR UI Goku, number one. LR Kalika Leafla, number two. Um, a Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, number three. Int Rosé, number four. Int Super Saiyan God Goku, number five. And then Tech Super Saiyan Broly, number six. And uh, hopefully watching this video has helped you guys you know, make that decision. I know it can be a little bit complicated with these, you know, stone selections, but uh, trust me, if you go with STR UI Goku as your number one choice, um, you're not gonna regret it. You really aren't. I mean, he's awesome. He's very powerful. He has aged well up to this point, and he's still gonna remain one of the most useful LRs in the game for a long time to come. So uh, yeah, that is going to be today's video, guys. And despite my rankings, despite everything that I said, I'm going to go for the Tech LR Broly with my Green Dragonstone, mainly because he's the only one that is not rainbowed. He's the only one I need a dupe for. Everybody else is at 100%. So I'm going to go with my number six choice or number six in my rankings. But uh, once again, you know, not really upset about it because he is still a monster and uh, you can't go wrong with any of the LRs in that selection. So yeah, that is a two dupe LR Broly. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> um, we messed up, guys. We messed up. I mean, I don't know why. I just went for bottom left. Maybe in my mind, I thought he was at 90%. And this was the last dupe I needed to rainbow him. Because obviously, I should have gone for top left for the hidden potential skills, right? For the crit and additional. Uh, I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I <laughs> Damn. Well, hey, on the bright side, on the bright side, uh, the next time I pull him will be extra hype because I can correct this mistake with my third dupe. But for now, I'm going to have to live with this mistake. And uh, you guys know, man, I'm real with you. So I'm going to leave this in the video as a record of my shame. Because <laughs> I should know better. I do know better. I, I, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened. Well, anyways, let's uh, take advantage of the new version Z feature where we can just click activate all. Hit OK. And there we go. Saved us a couple seconds. And uh, for the hidden potential skill, uh, let's go with uh, defense. Okay, so activate. Okay, and we have a 79% uh, slightly flawed tech LR Broly. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Well, we'll fix it soon. I'm sure I'll pull another Broly, uh, maybe on the Janemba banner, who knows. But uh, I think it's time for us to end the video because this does not make me look great. So <laughs> there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video despite what I just did. And uh, don't do the same thing that I did if you get a second dupe. Put it in the top left. First dupe, bottom right. Everyone knows that. I know that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. 
hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.